The Song of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 3. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw ye him whom my soul loveth? Watchmen are the tzaddikim, the righteous, and we are appointed watchmen. Jesus said, Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Now this is being watchful for our own sake, so that we don't get ensnared in the world. Ezekiel was appointed a watchman by God. Son of man, God said, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore hear a word from my mouth and give them warning from me, Ezekiel 3.17. He was called to warn Israel against her enemies and also to declare God's warning to them. Now watchmen are appointed and the one who appoints them places them in strategic positions according to his wisdom and foreknowledge. This is such an important concept. He places them in strategic positions. If you've given your life to the Lord, you are right where he wants you to be until he says otherwise. In other words, unless he specifically and unmistakably guides you elsewhere, then stay put and be a watchman right there. The watchmen in this verse were in the right place at the right time and were able to intercept and to offer help. I heard a great testimony recently of an American violent criminal who had no fear whatsoever of authority. But one evening he was arrested and the officer who bundled him into the back of the car with a bag over his head asked him, are you OK? When the thug asked the officer why he was concerned about him, the officer told him that he was a Christian and that God loved him. At this, the thug broke down in tears for the first time ever. He was later saved and today has an effective ministry to prisoners. Now, it was obvious that the officer was a watchman in the right place. For many of us, it isn't quite so obvious, but we need to stand firm and be at peace right where we are. Rashi regards these watchmen, by the way, as Moses and Aaron because of the next verse, which we'll look at tomorrow.